hi everyone you welcome back to my channel thank you all so much for stopping right here on my space today i'm luchke styles and if this is your first time of coming across my channel it's centered around sewing i share sewing straw videos and pattern drafting right here on my channel so today's tutorial is going to be all about pattern drafting and it's basically beginners friendly tutorial so i'll be sharing with you all here how to draft a half scale basic bodies and also how to avoid this bulginess at the back of your zipper and also how to draft a full scale bodies block and also how to create your perfect butt curve so a full scale basic basic bodies block doesn't have this join okay so it's drafted together so that's everything i'll be sharing with you right here and also how to take each of these measurements perfectly so i did all of this by myself and this top you see me fighting with right here is actually a tutorial i dropped last so if you've not watched that tutorial i'd advise you go and watch it out because is what it so without much ado i'll just get started with today's tutorial so to get started with this you need to have your pattern paper so we have two colors of pattern paper we have the brown and we have the white so here i'm working with the white one so i have this my pattern paper folded into two and i started off by marking three quarter of an inch from the top of my paper so you can see the points i made right there and i'm going to connect into a straight line using my ruler and that line now automatically becomes my shoulder line So the next i'm going to divide my shoulder into two so you can see from the video right here you can see that i measured from one blade of your shoulder to the other so that's how to take your shoulder measurement you divide it by two and add half inch for joining allowance to your sleeve so my shoulder divided into two is seven i added half of an inch and everything i got in total was seven and a half inches so for your neck width, majority of times people actually work with the nipple to nipple point to get their neck width. But right there, I worked with a neck width of 3 inches and for this neck depth, I marked 4 inches. So everything I'm doing right here on my paper, I'm actually showing you guys a short clip on this video that is appearing beside this um, tutorial. So just pay proper attention to that and you understand everything I'm doing right here. So I went ahead to create my neckline so you can decide whichever neckline you want to create here by yourself. So I'm going to come to that point where I divided my shoulder into two and from there I'm going to mark 8 inches downward. So this 8 inches is going to be my armhole which is a standard measurement for majority of adults unless you're in a bigger bust size of from 45 and above but when i'm working with a bust size of 43 44 below i work with 8 inches and it perfectly fits or you can divide your bust into by 6 and add 1.5 to that and you get your armhole circumference so this line i just marked right here is my chest line which i just labeled and exactly on that chest line i'm going to divide my bust circumference by four and whatever i have i'll make a point right there on that chest line i'll come to this my armhole line and i'm going to get the middle of it or the half of it which is four inches so from that four inches i'm going to come in by half of an inch and make a point right there as well so when i must have done this i will now use my curve drill to create a perfect curve all the way from my shoulder line to my chest line so just watch carefully and you will see how i create this so make sure that all the points meet just like this perfectly okay so i hope you understood everything i did right here so the next thing is to create my shoulder slope and from that point where my neck width stops i went up by half of an inch and i'm going to slightly connect this to the other side of my shoulder so this is simply all i did right here so the next i'm going to get is my boss point which is basically your shoulder to your nipple so mine is 10 inches and i went ahead to make this point right there and i'll just simply connect this into a straight line and also label it my boss point so whenever you hear boss point just know it's from your shoulder to your nipple so the next i'm going to do is to 
take my underboss which is from my shoulder to my underboss so please watch carefully from the video beside this tutorial we can see where i place that tape right from the highest point of your shoulder that is very close to your neck that's the point where you place your tape whenever you're taking any measurements so the line i just marked right here now is my underboss which i already went ahead to label as well so the next one i'll be taking now will be my half length most of the times i just get your navel and i go up by three inches or your your half length can actually be the tiniest part on your waist but in order not to confuse yourself you can actually get your navel and go up by three or four inches and that is your half length and that is the line i marked there and i labeled so I went ahead to add extra half of an inch which is going to serve as the joining allowance to the lower part of whatever I'll be attaching to this um, half scale basic bodies I have right here. And you can see I've also gone ahead to label this by allowance. So having done this now i'm going to get my nipple to nipple distance which you can see right here i have three and a half inches divided into two you divide this into two mine is seven inches divided into two my nipple to nipple distance is three and a half inches which i just marked right there and connected with my ruler just this way so i'm going to be creating a waist that at this point so i just went ahead to label the line which i just marked right now so now from my bust points you can see that point i'm going to come down by one inch i made a point right there so now from my that leg i'm going to mark half inch at both sides i'll be going out and coming in at both sides by half of an inch and i'm just going to connect these points all the way to the points beneath my bust point So after connecting this right here the next thing i'll start inserting here will be my circumference or radius so right here i divided my under boss by four i marked what i got right there and on my half length or my waistline i'll also repeat the same thing i'm going to divide it by four and whatever i have i will just simply go ahead and make a point right there so i believe this is very clear enough and i'm going to use my ruler to connect all of these points which i made right here so having done this the next thing i'm going to do is to um blending or smoothing that sharp edge because i don't want it pointy at that point so i'm simply going to replace this my dart intake because whichever dart that you that you that you give on your on your dress or on your pattern paper while drafting you have to be you have to replace it so i went ahead to mark this one inch at that point and i always replace my dart from exactly where it was taken so i've made i've said this uh countless of times on my channel right here so that is basically it and i went ahead to add one inch for stitching or joining allowance so i hope and i believe this is clear enough for you all to understand this i hope there is nothing confusing about this if you have any question you can go ahead as well to ask me in the comment section and i'd be glad to give you guys a befitting reply so after drafting this is it for my front half scale basic bodies so i've gone ahead now to cut this out exactly the same way i drafted so after cutting this out you can see what i have right here i'll just spread this out and i'm going to keep that aside and i'm going to draft out the back part of my half scale basic bodies so just like i did for the front part i went ahead to mark three quarter of an inch from the top of my paper three quarter of an inch is actually half inch plus quarter so that is what three quarter of an inch is so i wrote this straight line i will label it as well as my shoulder line so from the edge of my paper i'm going to be marking half of an inch so for this particular one i didn't fold into two because i'm trying to economize my pattern paper so bear with me 
but while doing those please and while doing yours please do ensure that you fold yours as well okay so you can see that i went ahead to mark half inch points all the way to the end of this my pattern paper and i'm just going to label that my zipper allowance so after doing that i'm going to leave that part now and start inserting all my other necessary measurements so from these points my measurements are not going to be starting from the edge of my fabric for my paper it's going to be starting from the line which i created i labeled my zipper allowance okay so i'm going ahead and well to also create my armhole so this is basically almost the same thing with the front part of my drafted basic bodies but the only difference or alteration we have here is the zipper allowance created and the neck depth yeah because the neck depth is always higher the back neck depth is always higher than that of the front but the neck width the wideness of the neck is the same thing with the back and with the front as well so the difference here now is neck depth which i marked right here and for the neck depth you can use one and a half to two inches but right here i marked one and a half inches but if you remember vividly for the front i used about four inches some people use more inches for the front so it's all about preference and choice so i'll just simply repeat everything i did for the front part right here because the only difference which was the zipper allowance and the neck depth i've already done it right here so just continue watching and you understand every other thing i'm doing right here So I believe even without me saying anything, you understand everything I'm doing right here. Because this is me replicating everything I did for the front part. And at this point, I'm going ahead to also create another dart. So the difference with the back dart and the front dart is that for the back dart, you can start your dart from the chest line all the way to your half length. But if it was, if it was for my front basic but this dart i would have started one inch beneath my bust point so back to the zipper area now i'm going to go by five and a half inches from my half scale bodies and i'm going to slantly connect this this way so this is something i do often on my channel and i believe that um the subscribers i have already are already used to this my pattern ahead to replace my dad and also add um stitching allowance or joining allowance so that is all the next thing is to go ahead and cut out so what i'm basically going to do is that after this i'm going to keep this pattern paper i'm just going to keep it i'm not going to make use of it to cut out on any dress i'm just going to keep it for myself yes i'll just keep it okay so i went ahead to cut out and watch carefully for that zipper part you can see how i went ahead to cut off that area so i now brought the front part of this my drafted basic bodies and i went ahead to label this my half scale basic block basic bodies block or whatever and my back so this is it for the half scale basic bodies I believe that you found this very simple like as simple as ABC there is nothing much attached to this so the next I'm going to do is to go over to the full scale basic block so for this full scale basic block you might be wondering I'm so fast right here yes i am because um i'm going to just create work on the upper part which is from the shoulder to the chest line and i'm going to stop and now take you guys through how to go about this
so right here now you can see that i've actually reduced my speed and i went ahead to mark my bust point which is your shoulder to your nipple and i've also marked my half length which is your shoulder to the part of your waist that is a bit inside if you watch yourself on the mirror you will notice what i mean so from my shoulder i went ahead to get my hip line so this is like from your shoulder to your hip and while taking all these measurements please don't ensure that it is directly on top of your boobs okay you can see how i'm placing my so that's how yours should, should be as well so i went ahead to mark the full length of my gown it's actually a short gown i want to be creating right here and it's 35 inches because i'm using the full length of this my um pattern paper so here i'm creating my nipple to nipple point line so i marked three and a half on all of this line just like i told you guys earlier that that is the distance between my nipple to nipple so i connected all this into a straight line so right here on the half length i'm going to mark half inches at both sides and after that i'll come to my bust point right there on that line and i'm going to come down by half of an inch so my hip line your dads don't really get your hip line so it's either you go by one and a half inch or two inches so i went up by one and a half inch from my hip line and i'm going to connect all these points just exactly the way the shape is so this is actually the type of that you give to any gown or dress you cut together okay so there is no joints with this um, particular type of drafting because everything is together so that was what i meant by a full scale bodies block so this is typically it and i'll go ahead now to insert the set uh, the radius or the circumference of all these my measurements so i did that for my half length and for my hip i went ahead to divide my hip into four and i marked what i got right there so if you want your gown a bit curved you can actually subtract one and a half inch from your hip circumference and mark it on your full length but if you want it straight or you don't want any slight curve you can go ahead and extend the line from your hip line down to your full length so after doing this i'm going to use all this my ruler with its different functions to curve all of these parts So just watch all all the placement, the way I'm placing my ruler and how I'm connecting all of this. So you can see this is like feminine woman shape. So I'll be replacing that dot at this point and on my half length I'm going to be marking one inch because it's actually one inch um, that I have right there. So I'm going to be using my ruler to also replace this dart from the exact point where it was taken and just watch carefully how I'm going to replace this dart. So make sure that this blends in perfectly on your drafted bodies. So that is simply all for the front part of this um, part of my gown and I'm going to add this one inch for stitching or joining allowance which is very necessary for you to do and i'll go ahead at this point to cut this out after joining all these points i made <music> here now is for my back dress so for this one of course the normal routine by marking three quarter from the top of my paper i'll connect that into a straight line 
and for this particular one the zipper allowance is not going to be half inch it's going to be half, um, one inch considering the fact that is a full scale bodies okay so i'm going to start from the top of my paper from that point where i marked my shoulder line to mark um, one inch and i'm going to connect this into a straight line all of these points <music> After that right now, I'm simply going to get started by marking my neck width of 3 inches and also my neck depth of 2 inches. Remember what I told you that the back neckline is always higher than that of the front. So forget that I'm actually using a, a round neckline here. You can work with a V neckline, you can work with a squared neckline. Or a round neckline these are the basic neckline shapes we have for beginners okay so I went ahead to replicate everything I did for the front part so right here I'm going to be extending that line of my half length and I will simply go ahead to go up from my half length by five and a half inches I'll extend that line a little bit and I'm going to make a slanty connection right there from the five and a half inch I went up by to my half length just this way so after that now I'll come to my half length and I'm going to mark five inches below just like this I'll connect that into a tiny line and from that five inches I'm going to come down again by eight inches I hope everything I'm doing here is clear enough to you all right so from my half length now I'm going to okay I'll label that first for you all to know how many inches I took so from my half length now I'm going to use my curve rule and connect in this manner to these five inches which I marked beneath my half length you can see what I'm doing right here so when I get to the eight inches line I'm going to firstly mark about half inch just this way so the line I'll be connecting from this five inches line will be exactly on that um half inch line so I don't know if my explanation is not so clear but you definitely see everything I'm doing right here because this is very clear enough so you connect that all the way down and you go ahead and add your stitching or seam allowance of one inch and that is all for this so you are also going to cut out exactly the way you drafted or this was drafted so this is basically how to draft a half scale basic body with a waist that and a full scale bodies block very simple and easy to do so if you found this tutorial helpful and up to this point you're yet to subscribe i urge you please kindly subscribe to my channel because you're going to get more intriguing sewing tutorials right here on my channel to all my subscribers thank you a whole lot to my future subscribers thank you a whole lot as well and do stay tuned on this channel because never going to get boring beautiful tutorials bespoke ways okay so see you guys some other time on this same unique channel so do try this out and if you have any question pin it in the comment section i do have a lovely day bye